What is going on, beautiful people? So, you know, I'm out here lifting with a fiery passion lately, just straight up violent aggression inside the gym. So I've been lifting heavier, you know, so I need more muscle mass. Uh, I need more fat too, you know. I've really been working on my hydration and meal prepping. So one thing that um, I just want to share with you guys that made it a lot easier for me to meal prep is A, I always have all the ingredients prepped before I cook it the day prior. So like chicken, already seasoned, potatoes, already seasoned, chopped up, rice, I mean, it's rice, so you really don't have to do anything with that. And then broccoli, oh, excuse me, broccoli, you just shake it and take it out the bag. You know, you don't really gotta prepare for that. But, you know, pounding the chicken, <laughs> pounding the chicken is really, <laughs> I'm a child. Pounding the chicken is really time consuming and so is seasoning, seasoning it. Um, and any chopping you have to do as far as ingredients is concerned, it takes more energy, more time, and if you're like me, you lazy, it's an excuse for you not to do it, right? So I did it beforehand, that way it takes half the time, half the effort, and then I make sure also that all my dishes are done before I start. Because, you know, like you you already have dishes from the day before you start meal prepping, and then you decide to meal prep, so now it's like your normal dishes on top of your meal prep dishes, and now there's just dishes everywhere. And you out here doing the dishes for like 45 minutes to an hour. This way, instead of you doing the dishes that long, you're only doing it for like 15, 20 minutes. You're only cleaning what you just used for your meal prep. Put everything in containers. Put it put it in Ziploc baggies. I like Ziploc baggies because uh, I can just throw them away when I'm done. Bad for the environment, I know, but... I'll be long, long gone by the time, uh, you know, by the time, by the time it actually affects the planet. My son will have to deal with that. <laughs> I'm just joking, you know, save the planet, be mindful, but I don't give a F. I'm gonna be honest with you. But, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what my, what my approach is. I'm gonna make a video on it later on. Just baked chicken, rice, broccoli, asparagus, you know, the normal crap. Even even with pasta and stuff, man, just meal prep it, section it all off. Like we got these little containers on Amazon. If anyone's interested in the containers we got, I can share the link in the description below. And yeah, man, just dump the food in the freaking container. And then once you dump the food in the container, put it in the sh put it in the fridge, and then you eat it. And then that's it. Like it's not that hard. But um, that's one thing that uh that made it a lot easier for me. I just wanted to share that with you guys because if you're anything like me, bruh hitting everything you need to hit as far as hitting the gym making sure you drink all your water then you gotta worry about your supplements then you gotta worry about your meal prep i'm not even gonna get started on stretching it's a lot to keep up with bro especially if you're a parent like the time is just not there uh but you have to make a conscious effort um at least i have to make a conscious effort if it's automatic for you guys and you guys don't have to think about it then please let me know what your tip is for that because i really have to keep my eye on this or else i'll just slowly fall off and get more relaxed because my habits um, you know, aren't being enforced and, you know, the behavior is a lot more relaxed. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to meal prep, really been trying to get to 192 pounds. We sitting at about 176 right now, which ain't too bad. I'm just too tall. Like there's no reason for me to be six one and for me to be underneath 190, 180 to be honest with you, but really 190. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, man. I don't know what your goals are this year, guys. I've been using the gym just as a, as a mental health outlet you know i don't go to therapy i had the gym and pick up weight okay i'll punish my body hey gotta feed the body if i'm gonna punish it like this though so um it kind of goes hand in hand oh uh, what are some other goals i would like to have this year um i, I want to develop either i want to want some it motion as far as my it skills or i'm joining a trade or getting a cdl um i'm willing to sacrifice it all um, shoot, I'll stop messing with Mary Jane if, if I have to, you know, I, I, I don't care. I, I'll stop drinking. I'll cut it all off. I'm about this paper. But, um, but yeah, I definitely want to sh have significant progress towards the end of this, end of this year and increase my salary about 15 to 20%, which is going to be tough, but it's possible. So when there's a will, there's a way. Uh, what else would I like this year? For me to be able to work on my vehicle, that's a pretty good uh, goal. And I also want to be a better father. But that's the that's always the goal. You know, that'll never change. I could be like the best father ever. Like EJ, daddy, love you if you're watching this. But I could like, you know, have my son go to Harvard. You know, he could be like the, the, the best surgeon in the country. And I'd still be trying to become a better father. It just it just is what it is. You know, it's a it's a never ending pursuit. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, I'm in Giant Eagle, actually. I'm about to manhandle y'all. Get over here. I'm in Giant Eagle, actually, in the grocery store. If you're from PA, you know. If you know, you know. But um, but yeah, man, hope you guys have a good day. Y'all take it easy. I'm out. Peace.